Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Mike, super glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so anytime I make a new video, you're aware of that and you can check it out. So guys, today I wanna make a short video and go over the process of how I went ahead and cut my chrome tubes for the Megatron build. So um, this is a leftover tube that I have, um, a 12 millimeter chrome tube. And so the process was pretty simple for me. Um, I did order this online. It's a rigid um, pipe cutter. I think it will cut up to one and a half inches. So plenty big enough for any sort of uh, water cooling tubes, even if you're gonna go with 12, 14, um, whatever size you use. Um, I got this cheap Husky um, deburring tool. So after I cut them, you can deburr them so the edges aren't sharp. Um, now what I would recommend, um, now it all depends what kind of space you have. If you have a garage or a workshop, I definitely recommend doing this stuff there. Um, when you do cut the pipes, especially the chrome plate on this, you are going to be getting um, some sort of metal dust in the air that you shouldn't be breathing in. So um, I got a mask with me today. Um, I usually wear a respirator, especially if I'm going to be cutting a lot of pipe, and I'll do it in my workshop. Um, so make sure you have a mask. Um, definitely wear safety goggles um, for the simple reason is because you just never know if a piece of metal is going to fly off and the last thing you want to do is get a piece of metal in the eye. I did get a piece of metal in my eye once and it wasn't pleasant at all. So um, let me go ahead and show you the process of cutting one of these pipes and then deburring it at the end. Now I will I will let you guys know that you know when I do water cooled builds I don't measure anything I kind of eyeball it because um, it's really hard to get an accurate measurement especially with your bends. So let's say I eyeball a run that looks like it's about nine inches. I'll cut it at 11 inches and then I'll slowly cut it down little by little. Um, I'll end up having quarter inch pieces laying all over the table by the time I'm done, you know, and then I'll just keep whittling it away until it fits exactly how I need it to. So um, let me go ahead and show you the process. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. So here's the cutter right here from Rigid. Um, it's got a cutting wheel right in here, and it's got two rollers back here where you put your, where your pipe sits in. Okay, and what I like to do is I like to, to sit this on something like a little, um, we'll use some coasters here. You could use a small block of wood. So the back of it sits off of there so I can tighten it down. So once I get it to where it's about, it's about as, about as small as it needs to be for this 12 millimeter tube. I'll sit my tube in here like this against the rollers here. And then I'll tighten up the back of it just like this. All right, until it gets a little bit tight, then I'll go ahead and, you don't want to over tighten it, just kind of snug. And then once you get it um, just snug like that, what you're going to want to do is just start to twist the cutter all the way around, just like this. I mean, basically what you're doing is you're going to score it. So after a couple turns like that, then go ahead and turn it another quarter turn and then keep going and score it a little bit more and then a little bit more and then you're going to go ahead and, and, and keep doing that and we'll turn it again and then I, you do a couple turns and then it starts to get easier so then you know I had to tighten it down a little bit more Because if you tighten it down too much, um, especially with thin tubing like this, you'll actually bend the end of it. And then what will happen is it will cause like a slant at the end of the pipe. So then every time you try to cut another piece, it'll it'll slip out of the little cut that you start and it will roll right out. So um, definitely be patient. All right, so we're getting there. So we'll tighten it down a little bit more. All right, so you could hear it, it kind of cracked. So we'll tighten it down just a tad, then we'll roll it, and then there we go. And then you get a nice, even cut, just like that. And then, like I said, I'd go ahead and bring the, the tube, you know, to the build that I'm working on and find out where I'm at. And then if I had to cut like a little bit more of like a quarter inch, I pretty much set up again. Just put my pipe back in there and then I tighten it down and rinse and repeat the same process. You know, get the, get it a little bit snug, then go ahead and, and score it, you know, and then tighten it down a little bit more and keep going until it actually cuts itself. So that's the process for that. And as you can see um, on the pipe here, it's really rough now um, where we went ahead and we cut that. So and it definitely doesn't look like this end here that's never been cut before. 
So then what you go ahead and do, if this is the right length finally and it fits, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and deburr that. So let's go ahead and do that next. Slide these coasters out of the way. All right. So here's your deburring tool. My coffee out of the way here. So basically you're gonna put it in and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out little pieces of metal here to smooth this around. So you're gonna put it in right where the hook is like this and then you're gonna rotate it around just like this. And again, basically you're doing exactly what the tool says. You're deburring it, you're, you're smoothing out all the rough edges from cutting it. And as you can see all the shavings right there, that's why I said wear a mask and wear eye protection because you definitely don't want somehow one of these pieces flying off of this tool and landing in your eye and then you're running around in a panic. And it's not like getting something in your eye like, I don't know, what am I trying to say? All I know is everything I've ever got in my eye, a piece of metal takes the cake, man. That That's, that's intense. So anyway, let's go around a bunch of times until you think, you know, it looks nice and it looks smooth. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. You can see all the metal shavings down here. But on the camera here now, it, it, maybe you can see in there, I hope so. But now it's really, really smooth. So, and then the next step would be, which I didn't bring any inside, um, take a piece of sandpaper and sand just the edge, maybe, maybe a quarter inch back um, to where your fitting's gonna go. So, cause this is really, really slick right here. And so you definitely don't want your rubber gasket to slide off of there. So by sanding it down and making it a little rough, um, it'll just be safer. Now you honest to God, probably, cause I have done builds before and I've never used sandpaper um, on tubes and the fittings have never come off. Um, but these, um, like these, uh, these chrome tubes compared to say like some P P E T G, um, these are a lot more slick. So I would definitely recommend sanding the end of these down. Um, so um, that's really it. That's really the whole process there. Um, again, just make sure, you know, you wear a mask, wear safety goggles, and do it in a well-ventilated area. So, and all you really need is a deburring tool and a pipe cutter. Both of them you can get at Home Depot. I'll, I'll put links in the description below. And uh, that's really it. All right, all right, the mask. God, I feel more comfortable, I feel like, with this on than I do with it off. It's become the norm. Alright All right, guys, so that was really kind of my process and like I said when you're when you're doing a water cool build Especially for your first time just kind of take it slow, you know and cut it little by little Because um, it's better to cut it long than to be short because then you're really kind of screwed So take your time go slow Make sure you always deburr your ends make sure you sand them down a little bit So your gaskets stay on and uh, and you'll be good to rock and roll so all right, guys, that's all I got for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed your video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. I appreciate you. Take care.